blessings, all blessings and honor and glory and power be on to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And he is sitting right now at the right hand of the Father. And so um, I just wanted to like come on here for a few minutes, guys, and um, just let you know that Jesus is coming. He's coming so soon. This is the month. I can feel it in my spirit. And he keeps saying it over and over in my spirit. I can feel it. Um, I wanted to read to you guys real quick about something, um, and it's to do with the threes and the significance in the threes. Okay? So just listen real fast. It's pretty fast. Jesus prayed three times in the Garden of Gethsemane. Gethsemane. I always say that one wrong. Okay, he prayed three times in the Garden. There are three days of darkness. The blood moon was four, three of 33 AD. That's 333, guys. 4333 AD at the crucifixion. Three hours after Jesus died, a blood moon lunar eclipse lasting, get this, 333 minutes. It's so amazing. Okay, and then after that, 33 min 333 minutes is crazy. Darkness started at 3 p.m. and it lasted for three hours and he rose on the third day. The blood moon in 33 AD was on Passover and it was April 3rd, Friday, 33 AD. Jesus was 33 years old. His ministry lasted three and a half years. Well, three years, but three and a half. As a child, Jesus was teaching in the temple for three days when he disappeared from his parents and they found him there. And there were three witnesses at the transfiguration, John, Peter, and James. Jesus raised three different people from the dead. There were three crosses and there were three people crucified. The, the symbol symbolizing the twin spirits on each side of him, the twin spirit. Um, then the ins the inspirations on, I'm sorry, the inscriptions on the cross is in three languages, guys. Peter denied Jesus three times and Jesus asks Peter three times, Peter, do you love me? After he'd been resurrected, Jesus was rejected, condemned by three high authorities, the Jewish high priest, Herod, and Pilate. Three gifts were given, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Three is the number of resurrection. Number three is manifested on the shroud, if you take a look at it, guys. And it is three centimeters long. The actual number three is three centimeters long on the shroud. And Jonah was in the belly for three days. Something only Jehovah and Emmanuel could do. Uh, darkness started at 3 p.m. It lasted uh, for three hours. The physical universe consists of three things, time, space, and matter. It just, okay, it blows my mind. April 3rd, 33 AD, and the blood moon for 333 minutes. You guys, it's absolutely amazing. Our Jesus is coming. You guys, look at this. You may not like me, but Jesus thinks I'm to die for, right? We, my daughter and I, we wear these every single day because I went to a press company, a printing company, excuse me, and I just... Got, I'm talking boxes full and t-shirts, lots of t-shirts that are long sleeve that say the same exact thing. On the back, let me show you what it says on the back real quick. It's Isaiah 54, 17. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. All right. And that is the truth. Okay. 
no weapon formed against you shall prosper when you are in the spirit pray in the spirit before you leave out first of all if you don't know jesus please listen to me he is about to come okay and you have very little time left very little time i'm praying that you would come um to him now all of you out there anybody that the father forwards this video to this is his youtube channel i didn't name this channel he did and what i meant to tell you the last time that i didn't was uh, i found out later it was a year after he told me to name the channel 1111 raptured saint uh, 1111, if you get the Hebrew Gematria calculator out, uh, you can Google it and it'll pull it up. Enter in the phrase Jesus blood. It equals 1111. Not only that, I was seeing 1111 in 2016 three, four times a day. I'm talking receipts were printed out, all kinds of stuff, okay? Like every time I picked up the phone, every time there was a digital clock, it was 1111. I'd get change back $11.11. I mean, it was insane. Three to four times a day for like 21 days. And that was during the fast that I did. And you guys, I didn't even really know that I was fasting. I didn't even know anything. This is in 2016. And when I was just going through a time in my life where I was depressed, I was sick and tired of this world. I knew there was something wrong and fake about it. I was searching for Jesus, but I was depressed. So I wasn't eating. And I'm talking, boy, did life get so supernatural. You guys have no idea. And it still is. And it's very, very intense. Okay, I love it. I love the supernatural. I wanna, I, I'm in the spirit 24 seven, like you all should be. This world is an illusion. Okay, now I wanna just show you something real quick because this is a very important teaching and I'm going to hopefully not get cut off. If we get cut off first, let me pray real fast. Father God, in the name of your son, Jesus, I pray that you would lift up every precious soul, every precious child that belongs to you and anybody new that's coming to the channel that doesn't know Jesus. I'm going to get into that, the ABCDs in a second. But Father God, please lift them up. I ask that you would anoint them and um, let them get into the spirit more um, as much as, uh, as much as possible and that you would put a hedge, a shield of protection around their homes and their atmosphere and their airspace. And I also pray, uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, every, uh, attempt, every communication, every single demonic spirit, unclean spirit, light of the satanic agents that they try to light up and they can fool you and that's what it says in the bible it also says be careful you may be entertaining angels so every single person you come across a, a man that's on the corner that's sitting there that's hungry that doesn't have anything to eat could very well be an angel just seeing who's going to give him any attention jesus does these things to test you okay so just be kind be kind to our fellow um he and she servants okay because there's a lot of servants to the lord and you don't know who's who and i know now with the world we're living in the days of noah you guys uh so but father god back to this i pray that you would protect them and keep them close and just keep them in your arms and hug them and you guys right now i'm getting a vision right now whoa 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 this is the second time this has happened but it's never happened on camera Okay, uh, it's, I'm seeing, right now what I'm seeing is a square box. It's a square box like a television, but I'm seeing Jesus and he's in all white and his head is covered, like the robe is over his head. It's all white. Um, didn't see his face though, and now it's gone already. But lo thank you, Father God. Um, that was quick. That was a quick little glimpse. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, but I've been asking him for visions and because um, I do have visions, but I don't have them very often. So, and I have dreams too, guys. It's crazy. 
You guys, once you, listen, if you're not saved right now, if you don't believe in Jesus, you can come to him. He wants you to come to him. He does not want to be eternally separated from you. God the Father does not want anyone to perish because hell was not set up and designed for us, okay? We were excommunicated, yes, which is what I'm about to show you something right now, guys, okay? This is something that you guys should all go and examine, all right? You'll, you need to examine it. Genesis 1, okay? This is not the Lord God in Genesis 1, okay? Um, right here it says, And God said in 126, Strong's 430, which is God's, little g's, God's of the supreme God, L, which is 410, okay? Um 410 is the political chief, uh, Elohim, okay? Not 430, which is little gods. It says angels, magistrates, okay? These are who let us make man in our own image. So the Satans are the ones that were doing this to begin with, okay? I want you to understand this. This is very serious and not a lot of people know about it, but it is the truth, I assure you. All right, and God said, so Strong's 430 is running throughout. If you get a Strong's Concordance book, because this thing right here, or you can look it up. All you got to do is look it up on Google and it'll give you, or eSword, please use eSword. A lot of people have missed this. And it was brought to my attention. I would I would say again, please go to Richard Mount Blue, M O N T B L E A U, um, and I pray that I am um, spelling his name correctly. But Richard Mount Blue, yes, please go. He just released two new videos that'll explain a lot better than I can do because I'm still taking it all in, and I've been taking it in for almost a year. The Lord is good. He led me to Richard, and I know supernaturally God did that, okay? So, and Jonathan Kleck. And then he also brought confirmation, and I had two dreams, and I'm telling you, there's no way. Those were both from God. I don't, there's no other way to tell you guys except that I know it's the truth. <clears throat> so, um... What it is talking about when I want to express in Genesis 2, 7, it says, And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. And, okay, spirit is number 4151 in the Strong's Concordance. And say pneuma, that's the, pneuma is the Hebrew word, and it's the rational soul. Um, and then a superhuman angel slash demon is exactly what it says, or a superhuman angel slash Holy Spirit. But it is, there's either one or the other, guys. One or the other. There's five wise virgins and five unwise. All I can do is say, I hope, I pray to God. Uh, now, I also wanted to tell you about one other word back in 126 when it says, let us make man in our own image. That is Salem, Salem, number 6754 in the Strong's Concordance from an unused root, meaning to shade a phantom. That is figuratively an illusion, a resemblance, hence a, represent, a representative figure, especially an idol vain show you guys our lord god hates idols that's what tells me that this is all the truth <sighs> okay so you have to understand that this is way more supernatural than you know and start believing once you believe a admit you're a sinner in need of a savior and that's jesus b believe Call upon his name with all your mind, heart, and soul. Cry out for him and he will come. He will come. He did them. For, I'm nobody. I'm nothing. I am just the worst, most wretched sinner. My clothes are but of filthy rags. And so, and every one of us is in this state, you guys. Every single person is in this state. So, 
when you do this, he's going to come to you and he's going to confirm, okay, repent of all the sins you've ever done in your whole childhood up into adulthood. And then D is for demonstrated deliverance and that's deliverance demonstrated once you become born again, baptized, fully submerged in the spirit and fire come down upon you. That's all I can think of to say. The Spirit will come down upon you and shower you with the gifts that God intended you to have. Go to Psalm 139 and read it. God wrote a book about you. Each and every single one of us he wrote a book about. Okay? And it is also, when you look in Psalm 139, womb, W-O-M-B, when he was, when he knit you in your mother's womb, that word in the Strong's Concordance is matrix. And the other description of what the matrix is is Satan's belly. So where are we really? This whole place is like an illusion. And if this is Satan's belly and then down wherever in the... I believe Jonah maybe have possibly actually been down in the deep, deep waters... Uh, and he could have experienced something even, we don't really know, guys, if it was a fish, if it was a whale, if it was a sea monster that swallowed him up and then took him down to the deep, deep underground waters that surround our this plane that we're in, and um, that was another three-day thing. But listen, you guys, I'm just here to tell you, Jesus is real. He is real, 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 okay? I'm going to show you one thing. I do this every once in a while. You see these, you guys? You see the wings? These were delivered to my daughter on her birthday. They were delivered on her birthday to, uh, it was 119, 9-11 backwards is her birthday. And um, it was not this recent uh, birthday, but the birthday before her 11th birthday, we left to leave out. It was pitch black and ice chips were coming down and I got into the car to start the car and I looked in my rear view mirror and I saw a man standing there by my daughter. My daughter was putting some garbage into the dumpster. And so I jumped out immediately and he was gone. And anyways, these were on the very center of the truck trunk. And he told her, you have some wings on your trunk. That's all he said to my daughter. And then when she looked over to the trunk, when she went to look back, he was gone. That's how fast it happened, y'all. So this is amazing that he had these delivered. Not only that, I'm going to show you guys one more miracle, okay? Because I've got it down here, and I'm going, getting ready to take it somewhere. But you guys got to see this. We were at the park for about 45 minutes. Let's see, is there any way to turn it around? Shoot, how can I do it that you guys, okay, yeah. We were at the park, you guys. We were there for 45 minutes playing, um, doing basketball. And uh, it was at the school. And this was about four or five months ago. And I'm going to show you, this is a, Shim a Shimano. This is a Shimano, y'all. <laughs> A Shimano, I looked it up, this was brand new, and it appeared out of nowhere. It was it was just sitting in the middle of the sidewalk, so it was for Brooklyn, and this is a $500 bike. And no name, no nothing, but for 45 minutes, it wasn't there. It was not there. And so once we ended up seeing it, Brooklyn, Brooklyn! Come up here, please. See, I just need you guys to hear the second witness to say this because she was right there with me. I don't want you guys to think I'm making this up, but she had prayed for a pink and a black bike. God loves you guys. God loves you so much. Brooklyn, come here. Okay. I just wanted to ask real quick when we went to Fremont the day we went and you got the bike. Okay, so I just needed you to be a witness to the fact that the fact that when we were there, 
Was there any bike? Did we see any no. bike the whole time we were there? Were there any other people there? No. No. And then how long was it about that you noticed all of a sudden there's a bike? 20 minutes, 20 minutes. 20, 30 minutes. I thought it was like 45 minutes, but yes, minutes. like 30 minutes or so. All of a sudden, there is a bike just sitting in the middle of the sidewalk. And this sidewalk, it goes around in a circle. You walk, it's a walking kind of a track. And then in the middle, it's a kid's playground because it's at the school. And it's not even that big. I didn't see one person the whole time we were there. And believe me, it was just getting dark. But there was no bike there. And then that bike appeared out of thin air. So you guys, God anything all things are possible through Christ who strengthens us and he who is in us is greater than he who is in the world so please come to Jesus side the rapture is getting ready to happen I don't want you to miss it it's almost time to go home guys just get excited I love you guys so much all blessings and honor and glory and power onto the King Jesus sitting at the right hand again always of the Father he loves you so, so much. He loves you. One percent of him fills every man, woman, and child on the planet, and he still, or the plane, and he still has 99% left over. On that happy note, I'm going to leave it at that. We're going out to shop. I love you guys so much. I love you just as much as Jesus loves you. And just please go to Richard Mount Blue's channel, and you're going to learn a whole lot. And I know I was kind of all over today, but I wanted to tell you guys about all this stuff and show you that every day when you're walking in the supernatural and the spirit, when you believe all things are possible, I'm talking healing, I'm talking supernatural gifts. I can't even tell you how many times he has gifted where he told me to go to the mailbox and I didn't have any money. And he told me to go to the mailbox and I went to the mailbox and there was a check for me in the mailbox for $200 from I don't know where. Okay, this is absolutely so insane. I love you guys so much and um, God bless you. Bye.